Would you join me this morning in prayer? Great Creator God, we praise you this morning. God, we lift up our hearts to you. We lift up our eyes to you. You are the one who has made all that is. Without you, nothing has been made that has been made. You've brought forth out of that nothing everything it is. We praise you because you're trustworthy. And though we don't understand all that's happening in our world right now, we do trust who you are. We trust that you are a good God. And God, we also praise you because you have said, you have demonstrated to us, you have shared with us, and we have seen your unfailing love towards us. We know that love most especially in the great gift of Jesus Christ and his sacrificial death on the cross. So God, we thank you for the forgiveness that we have through Jesus. We thank you that the forgiveness covers over our wayward hearts that turn away from you and to other things. We thank you for that Forgiveness and mercy that covers over our minds, that get distracted from your truth, that turn to deception, that choose lies and darkness over your truth and light. We thank you for that forgiveness, for that mercy that covers over our actions that fail to show your love, that fail to show your love towards others, that fail to show our love, that fail to show our love towards you. God, we thank you for that you have offered us forgiveness. God, even this week, even today, we will find places where we have not submitted to you. And there will be ways and thoughts and actions in us that don't honor you. God, we thank you that for these things and so many more, we know there is forgiveness. So God, we know you as the faithful and just and good God. And that you forgive our sins because of Christ. God, not because of anything that we have done, but because of his finished work. And so, God, as your purchased people, as a people belonging to you, and because of our identification with Jesus, we ask for your presence in our world. God, we confess that we feel overwhelmed when we see what is happening around us. But, God, you are not overwhelmed. And, God, so we we ask, we ask that you would act to preserve life in these days. We ask that you would act to protect caregivers. We ask that you would act to comfort the sick and the hurting and the afraid. God, we ask that you would give wisdom to leaders and decision makers. God, we ask that you would give your people, above all, a supreme, soul-settling confidence in you. God, not that we would just be reckless, but that we would be at peace. God, that we would know rest in the steadfast love of Jesus and that we would show the world what it means to trust in you. God, we pray for the most vulnerable among us. God, we pray that you would uh, act to protect them especially, that you would keep them from anxiety. And God, we pray as well for those who uh, in our Northminster family even now are struggling with illness. So God, we lift up Ron and Kathy and Bob and Meredy and Tom and Peggy and all others who are struggling with illness and physical um, issues. God, would you be with your people? Would you give us strength to live as your people? Would you give us the courage to seek you and the desire to grow? And we ask these things, Lord, in the name of Jesus, by the power of your Holy Spirit, and in great confidence of your love for us. Amen.